Hi, I'm Helga from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking Homestead. And today I'm going to continue with the Easter theme with Pashka bread. Pashka bread or Pasca bread is uh, an Easter egg bread um, that has its roots here uh, in Russian, Ukrainian, Lithuanian, Slavic, Eastern uh, European countries. Um, it's big here in this area due to the coal region because a lot of those uh, <clears throat> ethnicities have, have settled in that area. So, you know, it's along with all the good Polish food and stuff, you know, it's, it's a hallmark of the area. Once again, there's a million ways to make this. I'm making this the way that some of the local uh, Ukrainian ladies make it. I know some recipes call for um, raisins or other things. Michael's not a big fan of raisins, so I'm not using uh, that recipe. But I'm using another that I know uh, to be uh, successful and, and tastes really good. Um, this Easter collaboration is, is being done with Teresa's Stay at Home Life. We each wanted to do uh, three Easter vids for you this week uh, going into Easter. And my theme kind of was eggs since I went with the uh, colored deviled eggs and the chocolate covered peanut butter eggs and now Pashka which is egg bread. So I'll put it together and see how it goes. My yeast and one teaspoon of sugar. And one cup of warm water. And we're going to let that sit about five minutes and let the yeast work. It's been about five minutes. My yeast is all happy. I'm going to add in um, non fat dry milk powder and the rest of my water. Two and a half cups of flour, that was half a cup of dry milk, non-fat dry milk, and one cup of water. And I'm going to mix this to get a nice first soft dough. Okay, that's pretty smooth. I'm going to uh, take this off and Take this and cover it and let it sit about 20 minutes until it gets nice and bubbly and then we're going to finish up the rest of the dough. Okay this rose and got nice and puffy and bubbly so now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients in here and get them mixed up. Going to add the rest of our sugar and some salt and our eggs. And our butter. And we're gonna mix that to get it into a nice dough. Be nice. Now I'm gonna Start mix, mixing in enough flour to get it to the right dough consistency we need. And this recipe calls just for all purpose of flour. Um, some recipes call for oxidant flour or uh, baking flour or baking flour. But this just calls for all purpose. When it starts pulling away from the ed edges like that, then you have the dough good enough that you want to work it like a bread dough. And I'm going to take out this paddle. I'm going to take out this paddle and put in my bread uh, dough hook. And here you can see my dough hook is working and eating the dough. It sure saves me a lot of work. I love this thing. Okay, she's done kneading. Take my dough hook out. There we go. Lift this off. Here you can see what it looks like. It's nice and soft. And we're going to roll that into a uh, greased bowl here because we're going to cover that then and let that rise. So let me flour my hands.
There we go. Now this is going to get covered in a warm spot. I'll let rise. And I'm going to turn it once more to make sure that all sides um, are greased for when it's risen later. So now I'm going to cover it up. And this can take, you know, roughly about an hour. So cover it up and put it in a warm spot and let it rise for about an hour. Okay. My dough has risen. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just going to punch this down. Such a beautiful thing. And I'm going to turn it onto my floured surface. And I'm going to divide it in half. Let's see here. Take this half over here. And this half I'm going to press down into my well greased spring form pan like this. I'm going to make sure all the sides are touching. This is well greased like I said. Make sure it's up against all the sides good. Like that. Like that. And then we're going to take this and I'm going to divide this into three. a little bit. We'll see how I do with this because what I'm trying to do is roll this out into ropes. Which you'll see why before we get into this. Okay. Let's try and get these other ones done. Same fashion. Okay, so what we're going to try and do here is make a braid. We'll see how this works. off the end here. And we're going to try and place this rope in like this. Kind of make it pretty. It's not perfect. I'm not an artist. By golly, I think that's going to work. Okay. We got our rope in there. Now, 
break this in half and roll this. Make it across. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Now the next part. Okay, now I'm going to set this back in my warm spot and cover this and let it rise so it doubles about one hour. All right, let's see how this did in the rise. Oh wow, look at that. We want it to nearly double in size and as you can see it has. So we're going to brush this now with an egg wash across the top. And all this is is a uh, one egg with a uh, two tablespoons of water. Try not to miss any spots. So make it a nice glossy shine. Oh, it even smells good. There's little, I think, that is more rewarding than doing fresh baked bread. Okay guys, now we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for an hour. Well, she's out of the oven. And there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Now. I'm going to uh, let this cool before I take the springform pan off and uh, then we'll slice her and see how she is. Springform pan, sides. Oh man. Come on. Oh, there she is. Oh my god, guys. Look at this. Here's how she turned out. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at the color. All right. Well, let's slice her and see how she looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, guys. Look how beautiful that is nice and soft and fluffy and I gotta try a little piece just a little piece mmm oh man guys this is so good look at how nice that came out how soft and fluffy here you can see the you can see the loaf if I can do it you can do it trust me I haven't made this in years but that is Bashka bread traditional Easter egg bread so this is a real treat you can you can make the savory or sweet um, how you make the, the bread is up to you but um, it's really good just this way. Mm. So, there's a special Easter bread for you. Once again, this was a um, Easter collaboration with Teresa Stay at Home Life. And uh, I hope you enjoy our Easter videos. The recipes down below, as always, along with our playlist for the Easter dishes. And uh, I wish you all a happy Easter. Bye.